Hello. My name is Zombie Feather. Please have a seat. You're here to get a zombie makeover for the zombie walk tonight, hmm? Should be a lot of fun. How did you hear about me? Of course. Excuse me. So hungry. Brains, of course. What else do zombies eat? Of course it can't look like brains. They're powdered. Want some? Before we start, I like to do a little raffle, in a way. I will give you a complete makeover. The real deal. If you light this candle, if the candle burns like a regular candle, then you have to pay. If something extraordinary happens, then you get a free makeover. The total package. Alright? Choose your match. This one. All right. Let me get the wick ready. And let's see what happens. This could take a couple seconds, but you don't mind, right? Not if you get a free makeover. What are the prizes tonight? Oh, you aren't competing? You're just dressing up like a zombie for fun? That's interesting. Why do you want to be a zombie so bad? Hmm. I understand. There's a sort of simplicity about needing nothing else but to eat and having no other obligations. Your candle burns brightly, but I don't see anything extraordinary yet. Do you? You're really into zombies, huh? Do you watch The Walking Dead? Of course I do. I check it to make sure that it's accurate. Well, I don't want anyone misrepresenting my people. Oh. I take my job very seriously. How are we doing? I think I'm starting to see something happening. Do you see it? Not yet. 
soon. While we wait, if you don't mind, I'd like to have some more of my brain. Delicious. I see. Look. Oh, very carefully. The wax is bleeding. I'd say that's pretty extraordinary, wouldn't you? You must be someone very special. Mm -hmm. Well, today you get a free makeover. That's something. I think you should make a wish and blow out your bleeding candle. You don't believe me? Look. The wax is red. I'd say you win the prize. Do you want to blow it out and make a wish? No? Well then I will. Now let's begin. All right, let me start by washing your face. Close your eyes. All clean. Mm. I'd like to get started by applying cream makeup. This will make your skin much lighter and less healthy looking. Okay. I'm going to apply it with this sponge. Okay. It's soft. Won't mind it at all. I 
This is going all over. On your chin. Down your nose. On your cheeks. Your forehead. Do you know a lot about zombies? Oh yeah? Have you ever heard of the zombie queen? Not many people have. Well, of course it's just a myth. I heard she recruits people for her zombie army around the time of Halloween every year. No, she doesn't pick just anyone. She picks people with a destiny. You've never heard of a zombie having brains? Very punny, I know. <laughs> All right. Next. I'd like to take this light reflecting powder and put it all over the white base we just made. Okay. Swirl. Tap. And buff. Close your eyes. I'm sorry, I've got lots of little hairs all over your face. Shut your eyes. Good. Next, I want to find my broad brush and my smoked palette. I'm going to use this brush. It's a flat, thin, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to use it to apply dark makeup all around your eyes and in certain crevices on your face making you look less than alive all right I'm 
I'm going to use a few colors out of here. I'm going to use back door, blackout, bar lust, evidence, and loaded. The reason is bruises and traumatized skin have lots of colors in them. Shut your eyes. Mm hmm Of course you've seen a bruise, right? It has greens, blues, browns. It's rarely black. Holding your eyelids taut. Another side. Shut your eye for me again. Very good. Next. I'm going to use this brush. It's angled, but fluffy. And I'm going to go in with the dark brown. Close your eyes. Other side. I'm so hungry. I'll get some more brains on my lunch break. So, who are you here with today? No one? You came alone? Green. This is going under your eyes. Okay. Well, did no one want to go with you? You just don't know that many people? Are you new in town? It's hard being the new guy. What about your family? No, that's hard being so far away. Life is hard. Maybe that's why being a zombie appeals to you so much. The undead life is easy. Blue. Also known as evidence. It looks 
like it's coming along nicely. I think you're gonna make a great zombie. I do. Let's continue with bar lust. I'm really glad you came in today. I think you're gonna have a fantastic time at the zombie walk. Oh, I'm sure you'll see some of the Queen's army there. No joke. People around here know about the Queen of the Zombies. She's kind of a big deal. I'm just going to close this up. And I'm going to take the flat brush again and just blend that out. sockets. Good. Next. I want to contour your face. I'm going to take this brush. It's flat at the top, but still a little bit broad. And I'm going to place it in the hollows of your cheeks and anywhere else I feel like you might need it. Okay. Swirl, tap, buff. Swirl. going from your sideburns towards your mouth. Great. So, I have a question. Do you want to be a gory zombie? Or do you want to be a fresh zombie? I can give you some wounds, sure. First, I want to do your lips though, if that's okay. Great. Here we go. Uh, 
And I'm just going to put it around the edges of your mouth. So, I need you to go like this. Don't do the kiss. Just purse your lips. Thank you. Stay still. Did you bring any props with you? Blink for yes. That's good. I don't think that. I think that by the time you leave today, you are going to have no problem coming across as authentic. Mm -mm. Rub your lips together for me like this. Next. I'm going to take this. It's a very sticky gloss. And I'm going to put it all over your lips. This is not to make your lips shiny. This is to make your lips receptive to the powder makeup that I'm going to use on it. Mm hmm Wrap your lips together. Next. I'm going to take that purple color and I'm going to dab it all over your lips. Rub your lips together. Excellent. So now your lips look black and dark purple. We're going to throw in a bright red. It's not going to come out red. It's just going to add that villainous dimension. They're not going to look bloody, but they will look sinister. All right, rub your lips together for me. Looks great. Now I say, we go in with a little liquid latex, okay? I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to dip it in the latex and then I'm going to dab it on your face. At first, the latex is going to feel wet, but the more I dab it, the stickier it's going to get and it's going to dry like folds of skin that have been injured or cut. or rotting, if that's what you want. But your face is too pretty to do that. We'll just make it look a little gruesome, okay? Okay. Stay still. really going around your mouth, 
because I think that's the most dramatic look. And I'll add a little bit on your right cheek. Yeah, you feel how sticky it's getting? You look great. Like a real zombie. Alright. I think there's just one thing missing. A bite mark. No, of course not. Not like a vampire. This this isn't vampire lore. Zombies turn into zombies because they get bitten. So you need a bite mark. Okay? Where do you want it? On your hand? All right. I'm going to use this little brush and some liner to create the teeth indentations on your hand, okay? So, may I have your hand, please? This part's very detailed. Sorry about that. I lied. The pain will stop in a couple minutes. And then you'll be part of my army. There's no point in fighting. The candle said you were destined for this. Of course. You're going to love it here. Nothing to worry about. No stresses of everyday life. You have two purposes. One, to feed. Two, to do my will. And my will is for you to feed. So, you can look at it as one calling. One. No other troubles. Nothing else. But hunger. And satiating that hunger. Don't be mad. In a few minutes, you won't even remember talking to me. You won't remember any of this. It'll be like you're in a deep sleep. I'm so glad you came in today. I was waiting a long time for you. Welcome home.